This is the adorable moment Kate Middleton allowed a young royal fan to play with her handbag during a walkabout in Wales. The Prince and Princess of Wales have visited Aberfan today to pay tribute to those who tragically lost their lives during the coal tip landslide on 21 October 1966. After visiting a memorial garden, which is located on the site where the Pant Glass School once was, the royal couple took the time to speak with members of the public. During the walkabout, the Princess of Wales spoke with Mother Lucy Williams, who was holding her one-year-old son Daniel. As his mother spoke with the royal, the cheeky toddler expressed an interest in Kate's miniature 695 pounds mulberry handbag. In a clip posted on Twitter by ITV Wales News, the one-year-old is seen happily holding the accessory up to his face. After a few moments, Lucy, whose mother-in-law survived the 1966 disaster, tells her son, OK let's give it back. But not ready to part with the bag just yet, the adorable tot starts to cry. Reassuring the mother that there is no rush, Kate laughs it off and moves on to the next member of the public while Lucy tries to prize the bag from Daniel. While Kate's back is turned, Daniel then decided to let go of the bag, dropping it onto the fence. Luckily for Lucy, she anticipated her son's action and managed to grab it in the nick of time. Turning to face another mother, Lucy looks relieved to have caught the bag and then hands it back to Kate. Speaking to ITV News, Lucy explained how Kate made her feel at ease in what could have been an embarrassing moment. She explained, I think she sympathized with how hard it is with children. She said, he can have it to play with, he'll come back for it. Like it was any other person in the street. It's typical him though. He's a bit of a hurricane, I wouldn't expect anything less. The royal couple were somber as they arrived at the garden, which is located on the site where the Pant Glass School which was tragically destroyed in a coal tip landslide on 21 October 1966. The incident led to the loss of 144 lives, including 116 children. The couple were greeted by schoolchildren at the site, while survivor Gaynor Majwick showed Kate a number of newspaper cuttings about previous royal visits to the area. The prince and princess were then guided around the garden by one of the Aberfan survivors, David Davies, and Professor Peter Vaughan, Lord Lieutenant of Mid Glamorgan. The royals went on to share a photograph as they laid a floral tribute at the site, tweeting a message in English and Welsh reading, in Aberfan to pay our respects to the 116 children and 28 adults who lost their lives on 21 October 1966. A second photograph showed the floral tribute and the message left by the couple, which read, in loving memory. The prince and princess also met trustees from the Aberfan Memorial Trust who are involved in ensuring the maintenance of the garden, as well as some of the Aberfan wives, 
relatives of the children who lost their lives during the disaster. The princess appeared to have dressed for the occasion, opting for a dark long line coat and repeating a houndstooth dress from Zara. The royal has worn the 89 pounds and 99 pence long-sleeved dress from the high street retailer, that was reduced to 15 pounds. Ninety-nine in the sale, on a number of occasions over the years. The Duchess wore her long brunette locks down for the occasion, sweeping them behind her ear. Meanwhile she kept her makeup muted for the outing, pairing a sweep of eyeliner with a nude lipstick. Among the survivors the couple met was David, who was aged eight and a pupil at the school when it was engulfed by coal waste tip. He went on to move away and become a solicitor but has since returned to the community. Meanwhile when greeting crowds of royal fans, Kate spoke with survivor Gaynor for some time.